Hi, welcome to the nuclear reactions notes video. This is part one. So in this video we're going to talk a little bit about nuclear chemistry and we are also going to go into the particles and symbols that you'll see in nuclear chemistry. Be sure as you're watching this video to pause it as necessary to copy the notes. So let's start with a definition of nuclear chemistry. Nuclear chemistry is chemistry that involves changes in the nucleus of the atom. And since it's involved in the change in the nucleus in the atom, the only thing that are in the nucleus are the protons and neutrons. So it also involves changes to the protons and neutrons. These changes occur through a process called nuclear reactions. So let's learn a little bit about nuclear reactions. There are some key things that you're gonna learn, and in this video we're gonna co cover just a couple, um, and you'll see more in subsequent videos. So first off, how do we represent a nuclear reaction? We represent or express a nuclear reaction through a nuclear reaction equation, okay? And there's a couple key things that I want you to know about nuclear reactions equation for this video. First thing, in a nuclear reaction equation, you're gonna see that we use atomic symbols, and you've seen that before. So here's an example, we have an atomic symbol for oxygen 17. It's called oxygen 17 because oxygen is the name of the element and the mass number is 17. So remember an atomic symbol, on the upper left side, the top number is the mass number, it's the protons plus neutrons. And on the bottom left is the atomic number, which is the number of protons. Be sure to copy this information down. In addition to atomic symbols, we also use other nuclear particles in a nuclear reaction equation and here are some of the particles that you really need to know, get familiar with. First, we're going to start with an alpha particle. And you can see here in the second column I have the symbol. Symbol for the alpha particle is either a helium-4 atomic symbol, because that's what an alpha particle is, or we use this Greek letter alpha. And the way that you draw an alpha, I'll draw it underneath so you can see it, it kind of looks like an A, but you have an extra loop. So it's like an A with an extra loop. Now, um, the next one is a beta particle. Now, a beta particle is a high energy electron. That's the description. And so we can use a symbol for an electron. You know how an electron has no mass, so the upper left number will be zero. And because the electron has a negative one charge, if it was in a nucleus, it would contribute a negative one charge. So in the case of particles, what we do is we put the charge where the atomic number would be. So that's kind of weird. Usually the charge is on the upper right, but we put them on the um, lower left where the atomic number would be. So we only do that for particles. So again, for beta particles, since it's a high energy electron, we can use the electron symbol, or we can use a beta symbol, which looks like a B, and I'll show you how we draw that. It's like that, just like a B with a longer line going down, okay? Next we have a proton, which is equivalent to a hydrogen one nucleus, or you can use a symbol P. A neutron, has a mass number one, and it contributes no charge to the nucleus, so there's a zero there. So upper level, upper number is one, lower number is zero, and the symbol of N for neutron. And then finally we have gamma. A gamma is a high energy photon of light. And it has a symbol that kind of looks like a Y. So if I were to draw it, it would look like this. Okay, kind of like drawing a loop. And it has no mass and no charge, so both of its numbers are zero. So you can draw it with the numbers or without the numbers. So these are the symbols that we need to know. Let's take a moment to see if we can test our knowledge of these symbols, because you really do need to know them. And we're gonna do that with this part one activity. So as you can see, you're gonna use your notes in the first Five, four questions, they're asking you to identify the um, name of the particle and write its symbol based on the description and so use the information in the table. For example, it says which particle is a high energy electron? So I want the name of that particle and the symbol. So I'll go to my table and I'll look for information. I'm looking for, in this case, sounds like a description. High energy electron, here we are. So the name would be a beta particle and the symbol would be either the beta symbol 
or it would be, um, we can use the electron symbol. So I would write here, I need your electron, the beta particle, or I'll write the symbol. You can either do the electron symbol or a beta symbol. Okay. All right, take a moment to complete that. And then we also need to complete the part at the bottom here, which is labeled as question six. It should be five. For these, we're using the numbers to identify the element. And there's two places we're going to look. We're either going to look in this table, if it's one of the particles, or we're going to look at the periodic table. Let's take a look at the first one. So when you have numbers that are weird, like 0, negative 1, plus 1, some sort of charge here, any number like that, like 0 or plus or minus 1, you're going to go to the particle, because it has to be a particle. It's not an element in the periodic table. So I'm looking for something with a 0 and a negative 1. And I'll go to my symbols, and I see the only one that has a 0 and negative 1 is that beta particle. So I can either write in this box an E, because that's one symbol I can use for it, or I can write a beta symbol. Doesn't matter. Either way would work. Now what if you don't have weird numbers? So if you have an, any number that's 1 or higher, no plus or minus sign, but just a 1 or higher, we're going to use a periodic table. And remember, to identify an element in the periodic table, it's the atomic number, the one on the lower left. So I'm going to go to my periodic table, find what has an atomic number of 11, and that one would be, this has an atomic number of 11, it's sodium, so the symbol I'm going to write here is Na. Alright, once you're done, you can, taking these notes, you can go ahead and try and fill the rest of this in. And then check your answers either with your teacher or if it's in your Schoology folder. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a quality day.